This is an example of the application of the uh, dynamic pivots indicator. It certainly is true to say that uh, as at a very simple level, the indicator gives us a an intraday perspective on short-term strength and weakness based purely on the price action as explained in the introductory video. But one of the ways of using the, the pivot in a, a more nuanced way, if you will, is really to try and help us understand where we are in the trend, when we're moving into congestion phases, and when we are coming out of congestion phases. So this is really an application of the pivots indicator. And I'm using a, a fast chart here. This is uh, the ES we're on at the moment. This is on a two minute time frame. And really what I want to describe and focus on is this section of price action in the center here. Yes, we had a pivot high coming in here at the top of the chart, uh, which confirmed the downtrend on this occasion. And really, as I say, what we want to know as traders is when we're moving into congestion or developing a trend, but at the live edge of the market. And this is where the pivot helps. So we've come down the, the bearish trend, which has now developed, and we get a pivot low forms here. But almost instantly, we get a pivot high to the upside. Now, at this point, we don't know whether this market is going to simply go continuation of the trend lower, or indeed, we could even see a reversal. So what we're waiting for is obviously the price action to develop, and we're looking for the next location of the pivot. And what we see here is we get one here. Now, what this is telling us is that we are we're sort of building a ceiling here. We're going into a congestion phase. And bear in mind, at this point, I'm assuming the rest of this price action is not visible. We're just at this live edge, if you will. The market then sells off again, but we don't get a pivot low here. We carry on up. Well, we get another pivot low here. Now, what this is telling us loud and clear is we are in congestion. We're starting to define, if you like, the floors and ceilings of that congestion, but through the through the prism of the pivot itself, if you like. And this is where it helps us. Yes, we have obviously accumulation distribution levels, which are based on price also, but it is also the pivot which which, which helps us give a visual as to what is like to happen next. So we get the pivot here. We've had this one here. We get a pivot high. The market sells off again and we get a pivot low. Now we're starting to, to build a floor around this region. We try to rally. We get a, Now we know for sure we are in a congestion phase. And it's very clear where that ceiling of resistance is building. It's at this level defined by the pivots. We don't get a pivot low here. We get another pivot high triggered. Nothing more here, but we get further confirmation of a ceiling of, of resistance building all the time with these pivots firing. And they're really not... Um, changing the level at all because going back to this point here if the market was going to trend low we get a pivot low a pivot high and then the market would sell off again and then maybe a pivot low pivot high and that would confirm the trend and on down we go we're not getting that we're actually seeing these pivots align now obviously in anything to do with technical analysis you do have to be a little bit um, flexible with levels you know these are not uh, rods of steel we have to be flexible in terms of their positioning. But essentially what this is telling us is that we've got a level up here and we've got pivot lows constantly building in and around this region, which are forming a platform of resistance. And it's only when we come out the other side, we break below this region, and then we start to develop the downwards trend once more. And obviously if you're a, a volume, a price analysis um, student, then you would be very familiar with the sort of price action we're seeing here. You'd be uh, considering the volume and certainly the volume in this candle um, on the way down. And that's really, um, it's an application of the, the pivot at this level. So it's one application of using the dynamic pivot to help you in assessing the entrance to con congestion phases. And I know we've got it laid out on the screen here because we are in a, looking at it from an, an historical perspective. But when you're looking at it from the live edge, you'd see the pivot low, then the pivot high. Nothing much happens, then the pivot high again. At this point, you are starting to think, hang on a minute, I think we're in, we're moving into congestion here. 
nothing here we don't get a pivot but then we get the next one here a little bit higher up. that's fine it's just telling us you know we're in this region of congestion then we get this one up here then we get another one on we go down to the end and that's really how to use the dynamic pivot in a congestion phase and the other purpose of it is to use it to help us to confirm that the trend is remaining uh, established as part of uh, as it gets underway but all of this is at the live edge of the market. But I wanted to show you that example because it is a nice example of, of how the pivot really does help in that assessment at the live edge in terms of what is like to happen next, which is really all we need to know as traders. We come out of that. Yes, we get a pivot low here. The market rallies. We've got a pivot high here. Down again, up a little bit. No pivots here. We're moving on down. Obviously, the market is pretty bearish at the moment, as you can see. You know, It's not, uh, it's not turning bullish uh, at present. Although obviously we've got the cash markets coming along later in the day. So I hope you've enjoyed that particular video. Um, lots more to come on the, uh, the, the pivot indicator. So thanks indeed for watching. Hope you found that useful. See you again soon and bye for now.